circuits and smiles Nuts. And Hello Transformers fans Put down those chainsaws and listen to me Because I've got another TFW 2005 Radicon Spotlight Review And this time I'm reviewing Made in Japan's Junkion Add-on Kits This includes both heads A and B So like the rest of the Transformers fans, you were probably thinking when Retgar finally came out, yes, we have Retgar, finally, but what do we do about his millions and millions of compatriots that showed up in the Transformers movie? Well, the answer was answered a couple different ways by Hasbro. Um, Hasbro has recently shown that they're going to be coming out with a generic Junkion Warrior with a remolded head. Um, I believe that's coming this November. I have several on pre-order. Uh, I should say several. I have two because um, my collection's getting kind of big for me here. As you can see, I've got Rekgar and I've got two Junkions. And then what's not shown on camera is I also have an unopened uh, Autobot eHobby set, which contains um, Scrap Heap, which is the Takara answer to the same Junkion problem. So I was thrilled when Made in Japan showed that he was going to be making several add-on sets to make your own Junkion warriors from various... Uh, Retgars or Scrap Heaps, although, to be honest, I don't know why you would buy Scrap Heap and then remove the custom head and put a different one on it, but it's not just heads we're dealing with here. We're dealing with a shield, we're dealing with an axe, we're dealing with a shoulder piece, two knee pads, a chest, and numerous heads. Um, all in different colors that you can pick yourself. I picked up, ultimately, two chest pieces. I picked up three heads and one set of weapon and shield, and one set of knee guards and uh, shoulder guards. Um, as I was saying before, you can get them in different colors. You've got all different color combinations to match your various Junkion needs. Um, I went with um, a sand colored one. I went with the red one, um, just because I felt it fit the theme the best. So why don't I start with Retgar here. Um, Retgar, this is a standard reveal the shield Retgar that I'm sure most of you probably already have, except he has a much more accurate, really awesome shield. Um, this shield here is very similar to the one that he had in the movie, and that's why I'm sticking it with him. Um, it's really nice detail work. You can see um, the spikes there. Uh, it's got the wheel that matches the same wheels that he came with. And then if I slowly take it off here, you can see how it attaches on the back here. It's got this tab here, um, an indention that fits right onto his arm. So you just find the hole or the, the peg, pop it in, and now he's armed and ready to go and get up, up in your business. Um, it's a really awesome shield, but I think what most people are going to be interested in is all these other parts that you can use to turn your rec gar into various other junkions. Um, I bought three altogether. I have Retgar himself, and then I, ha I bought two additional Retgars to make Junkions out of. Um, here are the original heads that were popped off of my two Retgars. Um, and let me move in the first fella here. So here they are kind of riding each other in, in the motorcycle mode. You can kind of see the new axe here, which is really nice. Um, it's got that kind of... G1-ish look to the original axe like Rekgar had and he got in the fight with uh, Springer with. Um, it looks really nice. Uh, I wanted to show, while I still have them here like this, the transformation. Um, most of these pieces have been fit so that they still uh, can go into the transformation and not have to be removed. You can see the brown chest here and one of the custom heads. Um, the head folds just in the same spot as the original. The chest uh, is a clip-on item and it, and it fits just fine in the transformation. Um, here on the back, you can see one of the knee pads fits right onto the, uh, the tail of the motorcycle, um, just fine. Now, both knee pads cannot fit in transformation mode. Only one of them can, and the shoulder piece does not go anywhere either. So those couple of pieces you're kind of limited on. But anyways, let's get to the fun part. Let me go ahead and pop him off here as I struggle. Ugh. There, he finally came off. So, here is the Junkion that was riding the motorcycle before. Again, they don't really have individual names. This is just sort of the one that I bought the parts for and kind of made one myself. Um, this fella here sports the B head, which let me get up here and I can kind of give you a look on. 
Um, it's a really nice head. It still retains all of the movement of the original. Um, it's kind of a silver gruff face with the uh, kind of like these motorcycle mi mirrors on the side, and it's kind of got the top here, and um, it looks really nice. I, it's probably my favorite head of the two. Um, I was so excited when he said he was going to make some more heads. I'll be honest, I haven't checked his thread uh, in a little while. I've been kind of busy with my new baby, but um, he was talking about doing some additional heads, perhaps some additional uh, other pieces, but but these are for the uh, the release head A and B and then the accessories. Um, you can kind of see the, the shoulder piece here. Uh, it, it just sort of clips over that little shoulder piece there um, in place. It stays pretty, pretty securely. Um, the chest piece is really neat. It, it slides over um, the little robo nipples here uh, that through the little holes, and then the, there's little areas here that that holds it uh, snugly against the chest. Um, so you just slide those on, push it in place, and it, it stays really nice. Um, you know, if you were going to give this to your kid or something, it, it may not stay on, but for m my fiddling and for my display, it, it, it's great. Um, the knee pieces clip on; they can clip on either side. Um, this one's on fairly securely. Ooh. There we go. So they've kind of got a little slide-on piece there, and they just sort of slide over the top. There's an indention for them. They pop on like that. Um, so yeah, this is this is one of the color schemes that I picked for this guy. Um, let me go ahead and grab the motorcycle fella here. Put him in the back. And this is the fella. I'm, I'm not going to bother to transform... Um, the motorcycle into robot mode just so I can show you the new head because that's really the only difference other than coloring um, but here's the motorcycle and you can kind of see as I was showing earlier you know the the new the chest clips on just fine it stays on for vehicle mode and then here's the new head um, this is the original head a this is in kind of a brown color and it's got a face plate and the two antenna on the side it looks really nice uh, just all of these pieces were done so so well I, I i think made in japan did a wonderful job um, i still have an extra head here um let me go ahead and pop the head off so you guys can see that so here is the same head in a different color if i grab the motorcycle guy you can kind of see so they come in a various you know different color combinations and things um they're just, they're really top quality. He hand paints these, he hand casts them. Um, they're just, they're done really well. Um, the pricing, it, it varies on different pieces. I think the heads run you like 10 bucks. Um, I think like the the weapon pieces might cost you 12 bucks, somewhere between 12 and 15. The chests, I think, are like 10 bucks. I mean, they're all really reasonable prices to get these pieces. Um, your biggest problem is going to be finding uh, enough junkions to apply all these parts to. Um, he sends you all the parts in these little plastic bags, and he sends this great little note along, uh, telling you to be careful with them, because it is a resin cast. These aren't plastic. Um, they're hand-painted, so you could get paint rub if you're not really careful. Um, but it was nice that he sent this, you know, for the people that haven't really had a, a, a handmade item before and, and don't really know how to treat them. Um, it's definitely collectible. You should be careful with it. But uh, if you're looking for, you know, some, some custom pieces to, to give you some junkions to go with Rekgar here, you can't go wrong with Made in Japan stuff. I can't wait until the Hasbro junkion shows up later this uh, winter time for me to apply my last head to. So, anyways, thank you Made in Japan for sending me these items. Um, I will have a link down in the bottom with the thread for his Radicons. Uh, thread so you can go and take a look and, and potentially order some for yourself. They're a great item They take a little while to come because he hand makes each piece, but it's definitely worth the wait. The quality is awesome So this concludes this particular Radicon spotlight review uh, Stay tuned in the coming weeks. I hope to have a special surprise insect like Radicon spotlight review for an add-on kit for a certain insect that we may all own now from a third-party manufacturer don't know if it's going to happen for sure, but I'm hoping it will. Uh, also keep your eyes peeled because I'll be doing a uh, Unicron 
uh, Amazon exclusive Unicron review here pretty soon because uh, I got that piece in and he's he's a really a cool guy. So, anyways, thanks for watching and uh, make sure and leave any comments down below if you have any questions. Talk to you guys later. Robots for everyone.